Hello YouTube. Um, we've got outside here today. Uh, it's a bit black and dark, but uh, it's going to rain soon. It's going to rain Yeah, but this is England. This is what you expect in England. Rain, rain and more rain. Mind you in saying that, it has been pretty dry, but oh well. Anyway, uh, we've added some caustic soda. Yes, I know it is an alkali and what we were using last night was an acid. But we've drained all the water out of the uh, thingy and put fresh distilled water in it. Added some of the caustic soda, which is, what is it again? Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide. And uh, we're going to get it running. So, do the honours. Yep. Gloves and goggles, obviously. This is uh, very, very dangerous stuff. Uh, stupidly highly dangerous. So you want to wear gloves and goggles. A and more amps. Yeah, it is drawing a few more amps. And you, you can see, see there, look, it's bubbling like crazy. And it took about a minute to build that up last night. Yeah, you saw how long it took to build it up. But if we had the pressure gauge on it now, it would probably be hitting 30 psi so quickly. You know, pop the uh, the hose off the bottom there. But yeah, you can see that's working really nice. Let's have a look what it looks like in that cell. Same wires, really, really small things. We've upgraded from sellotape though. Yeah, we've upgraded from sellotape this time. We've got a tie up going around it with the LED sellotape. But for testing purposes, it'll do. You can see in the cell there, it's bubbling away, going crazy a lot. Ah, bad, bad focus. It's because it's so dark. I know. But you can see it's bubbling away inside there. Working good. And out of the end of that pipe there, you'll be getting your hydrogen. Although we're not going to test it, we're not going to light it or anything. We know it's going to be hydrogen. Previous experiments has told us it's hydrogen. It's a bit too windy to light out here. Yeah, it is. It's very windy out here at the moment. In fact, I bet it's playing hell with the uh, microphone on the camera, actually. Sorry about that, guys. I'm going to try and uh, address the problem. But uh, yeah, that battery was a scrapyard find. Uh, paid eight quid for it. It was still in the cellophane wrapper when I got it. Um, the problem was, was the f one of the forklift trucks uh, damaged one of the um, uh, thingies on it. Terminals. The, at the terminals, yeah. And I just had to build it up with some more lead, the molten lead, just add more to it, and it's been all right ever since. Good stuff. But yeah, that's about it for now. Um, unless you want to add something, do you? Well, I guess we could just fill up one of these with a bit of water just to show that hydrogen's coming out of that. Not actually light it. Yeah, okay then. You know. I think the hose is off. Look at the thug. <laughs> and he's got gloves and goggles on. You can imagine what he looks like. Well, you probably can't, but yeah. He looks like a right thug. I'm just out here with a fleece on and my stupid hair flying around everywhere in, in my eyes because uh, having long hair does that to you there you, go. there you go and if we just put it in there you Let's can see. see it is making hydrogen hydrogen oxygen quite a lot of it actually not enough to sustain an engine just yet but the, it's definitely an improvement the battery's not fully charged the battery's not fully charged and, and obviously adding a little bit more the cables are quite uh, thin as well yeah. so we've got um, you know uh, restricting the amps yeah loss in that as well but there you go but yeah that is it running uh, pretty good so yeah that's about it really isn't it yeah and there's the pit there all boarded up look <laughs> yeah. Temporary that is, you see, that plyboard. It's going to have some steel gridding going over it. But yeah, we'll see what it's like. Um, Go try and find a little engine or something, preferably a four stroke. Just took the battery terminal off. Um, preferably a four stroke or something. A uh, very, very small four stroke engine, 50cc or something, if we can get older one. Uh, really cheap. Hopefully. At the scrapyard or something, we'll pick one up. Maybe that's been, uh, you know, neglected a bit. Get it running. If it's got carburetor problems, that'd be great because we're not going to run it with a carburetor <laughs> because uh, that gas is all you need. Just pipe straight into the intake. 
And if we can make enough of that gas to sustain the engine on takeover, it'll be quite nice. Uh, it sh it's a little bit more powerful than um, petrol. It gives off a lot more explosion. Obviously, it's got oxygen mixed yeah, in. Yeah, it's, it's got oxygen, oxygen and hydrogen mixed in with its mixed in, so you don't need any atmosphere uh, going to the carburetor side of the engine, the intake. You just pipe that um, gas straight into it through a bubbler, obviously, to avoid any backfiring and flashbacks. In fact, if you get the the hydrogen torch you can actually run it underwater and the flame will stay underwater yeah because we were doing that weren't we yeah it's quite cool that is yeah you can actually actually have the flame run underwater if you can keep the uh the supply constant enough uh sorry if i'm shaking it it's a bit cold here in the uk uh the gauge is saying it is almost, about almost yeah 10 degrees it's a bit off that gauge is quite off but yeah, it's good. And that's the ale we've got up there, look, from the other videos. It's not much of one, but that's a 2, 6 and 70 cents. Just on the old TV mast. It's not much of an aerial, it's a bit bent. It's leaning over this way a bit, but uh, it'll do. It gets us out. It gets us out, that's it. So yes, uh, I think that's about it. Into you, into to Alex? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so. Alright then, from me, John. Me, Alex. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> we'll catch you in a bit, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.